I was born and raised in Chicago, Illinois, south side of the city, uh, around the way, off the block, from the hood. I really thought I wanted to be an architect, until my drafting teacher told me one day that if you were an engineer, you would make money just because you're a smart guy and you like math. And from that point on, I began thinking about engineering. Then I really did some research, and uh, I really found that my, my actual interests aligned more with mechanical engineering. The reason I ultimately came to Purdue is that they offered me the most amount of financial aid. And uh, you know, without that financial aid, I would not have been able to attain any school. We came from inner city public schools in Chicago and they did not offer calculus. And I can remember walking into the first calculus class and uh, seeing a couple of guys and one of them said, hey Billy, look, this is the same calculus book we used in high school. I'm like, uh-oh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be in trouble. I was really lucky coming to Purdue in that I also came with four other friends from high school. And we all decided as a group to attend Purdue. So when I got here, I really already had kind of a, a social network and uh, a study group built in that contributed to my success in the freshman and sophomore year. After the first semester, when we kind of got our bearings, you know, I, uh, I, I think that the hard work actually paid off. And I ultimately uh, got a, a B in, in my first calculus class, which uh, I'm still proud of to this day. Most of the, the minority students, uh, in particular, when they matriculate here, they don't have that uh, study a group of support or that network. And I could see that the difference in performance with some of the uh, minority students. Uh, they, they, the, the graduation rates were, were low, the uh, uh, retention rates were low, uh, the actual matriculation rates were low, and there, there were very few students on campus, and uh, I saw that as a problem. And as I had an opportunity to visit other campuses, I could see that that, that was a problem that uh, was shared. So when we got back and we kind of talked about what we were going to do about that, um, we uh, decided that, that uh, we had a chance to make a difference here. Those experiences gave me the idea of forming the National Society of Black Engineers. All I did, all the six of us did, was plant a seed. And then we graduated and others behind us watered that seed and they, they nurtured that plant and they grew. Now there's a whole big tree called the National Society of Black Engineers that has 30,000 members and almost 400 chapters in almost 19 countries with a $14 million annual budget and a 30 full-time paid professional staff. I'm very proud of that. Through the National Society of Black Engineers, we now have begun to target third, fourth, and fifth graders with the goal of getting them interested and in math. The doors of opportunity are open to them because now they're eligible for advanced placement, uh, math and science in high school, which makes them eligible for matriculation in not only engineering, but in, in medicine and chemistry and physics. So what, what I try and tell young folks, math is fun, first of all, and it's important. If we can show them that uh, through, through math and algebra, you know, they have another opportunity or another avenue to get the things they want. I think that'll make a difference.